There are three ways to skin any Lightroom cat. That sounds very violent and disturbing. I named the video that, but then I'm realizing as I say it out loud, it doesn't sound too good. Anyway, let's keep PETA out of this. Is it PETA or PETA? I don't know. What I'm trying to say here is that there are basically three ways to do virtually anything inside of Lightroom. Adobe gives us several different options for users that have different preferences in the way that they work. Now, what I'm going to say is that none of these methods are better than the other, but that's a straight lie because one of them is far better than every other one, and that is hotkeys. I'm just kidding, but seriously, hotkeys are awesome. So one of the ways that we can access these different tools on the Lightroom interface is A, I have my left hand up right now with a finger and you can't see it. So A, this is the Chinese symbol for A. I'm just kidding. That's just a weird thumb. A. Number one. So number one, using the Lightroom interface itself. So there's all sorts of interface buttons all over the place. So let's say, for example, we want to import. We can press the import button right here to bring up the import dialog. But let's say we're cooler and we want to use the shortcut or the hotkey. We can press Control shift i or Command shift i which is method number two, to bring up the import dialog. Or if we're like in that mode where we have like a senior citizen moment and we're kind of like, eh, brain fart, don't know what to do, we can always go up to the file menu and then we can do things from there as well. So we actually have the import photo and video as well right here. So that's three different ways of getting the exact same place. And you'll find that in Lightroom, many of the features are that way. In the develop module, same thing. Let's say that I want to move and copy my develop settings. Let's just say I select this image. I'm going to select this image. By the way, let me press Shift F right now just to go full screen. I'm going to press it twice. And I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down by clicking that arrow. Um, this would make great options too. Okay, watch this. And by the way, we will not only show tool tips for all the shortcuts, but then we're also going to be mentioning them constantly throughout the video. So I don't know why I'm numbering things. Every time I bring up a point, I like number it. It's just a habit. So let's just say I want to make an exposure adjustment here. I move to my next image and I want to make the same exposure adjustment. Well, I can press previous, which does it. Or I'm going to press Control-Z or Command-Z to undo that. I can also use the shortcut for previous, which is so much cooler. Alt-Control-V or Option-Command-V, and it'll paste in the previous. Now, one quick note, sometimes your shortcuts can actually interfere with other applications. Case in point, I actually have Evernote loaded right now, and Evernote's shortcut for pasting is the same thing as Lightroom's. So if you find that something isn't working, it might be because another application is sharing the same shortcut. So what I'm going to do is close out of Evernote. We can also, you know, what I would do is, um, what I would do is change these these functions inside of Evernote or whatever separate application, so I can continue using them in Lightroom. But for right now, let's just close out. So now, when I press Alt Control V or Option Command V we get the paste last settings. Again, we can access the same thing up here from the top develop menu. Okay, so I would highly recommend that y'all go with, y'all, y'all go with hotkeys. It's gonna be the best way to learn the interface, to learn the components, to be able to work efficiently, everything through Lightroom. And really it's the ideal way to go. And that's why we're gonna emphasize hotkeys throughout this entire course. That's what we want you to focus on. That's what we want you to learn. Okay, and also remember one thing. You ever forget the hotkey? Let's go ahead and press G to go back to the library grid view. If you ever forget the hotkey to something, in every module, if you go up to the top under the help menu, you have library module shortcuts, which you can get to by pressing control forward slash or command forward slash on a Mac. And it's kind of funny that there's a shortcut to get to the shortcuts in case you forget a shortcut. Because what if you create the shortcuts to the shortcuts? But either way, these are the library shortcuts. Again, if I escape out of this and then press D to go to the develop module and press control forward slash or command forward slash, you'll notice that it'll bring up develop shortcuts. Every module has its own shortcuts. Some of them crisscross. So sometimes pressing one button in one place might not be the same thing as another button in another. Case in point, inside of the develop module, if I escape out of this, backslash, shows the before and the after of an image. 
inside of the grid view, or I'm sorry, inside of the library module. So let's press G to go back to the library module. Backslash brings up our filtering menu. Okay, so sometimes these same hotkeys might do different things in the different modules. Just know that depending on whatever your workflow is, whatever you like, there are generally three ways of getting to any of these features in case you forget one or the other. None of them are better than the other, except that's a lie. Hotkeys are for sure better than everything else. Let's go on to the next video.